Okay, so these, the purpose of these calls, welcome to the call, and I'm starting over because I forgot to hit record, is to allow you to go faster in your VEMA business. Obviously, the faster you go in terms of getting financial freedom and health freedom and, and all those things, the, the happier your life's going to be. And the ability that you'll have to empower other people is greater because now you're doing it yourself. You know, that's why, obviously, at the beginning, you use us. So what I want to get back to before I f forgot to record I'm going to get, pick up that thought, which is the reason why people don't always go fast is they don't know what to do. Sometimes they get stuck. You know, obviously, this is a people business, and you kind of, kind of have to talk to people. So the easier you can make this, the faster you're going to go. So if you make it in your head, you know what, this is easy. All I got to do is connect people to Paul and Agnes. I could do that all day. Now, the, the breakdown sometimes comes into how do you connect how do you reach out to those people? So a great way that, you know, we haven't emphasized a lot, but I think it's a great way, is to call up your friends and people you know and say, hey, do you know anybody that's suffering or sick right now? You know, because I found a way to help them, and I'm really excited about it. I want people to know about it. And a lot of times the people will say, yeah, my, you know, my uncle's got diabetes, or yeah, uh, you know, somebody's suffering with cancer, or whatever. So... The third way, the third party way, is, is a great way. Another way is money. Hey, you know, my friends Paul and Agnes, they're coming down here from Florida, and they're looking for some people who want to make some extra money. Do you know anybody? And, you know, what they're going to be saying is, yeah, me. And then they're going to ask you, well, what is it? Sometimes they'll ask you for the same thing for the health. You know, well, what is it? And that's where you have to be a little bit stubborn. What Jacek did, J Jayadev did, was he had actually, people were asking him, Jayadev, how are you able to stay in the temple and you're not really working? You know, how are you able to pay your bills? And he would say, I'm not allowed to talk, <laughs> which I think is hilarious. And, and he said, uh, you know, wait for Agnes and Paul. When they come here, we'll be able to explain it. So he was pretty stubborn on that, and that was actually very smart because he didn't have the experience of talking with people. And then when we came there, you guys saw what happened. It started this whole revolution of people joining. So now to keep the ball going, to keep it running, you got to, you know, find more people. And your people have to find people. And if you have people that are not finding people, then find some other people. Because here's the thing. I could be, uh, you know, Mr. Motivation, get you so freaking pumped that you're like, yeah, let's go. But that's called outside motivation. And, and there's only so much I can do from my point of view. I can give you, you know, information that, information that can pump you and feel like you're empowered and you can go. But the best motivation is when people have people underneath them and it's growing. And they look down like, wow, I got more people. You know, hold on. Yeah, wow, I got more people. Wow, I got more people. So that is really, really motivating is when you see something like that happening. And so that's what we want to do. So sometimes you've got to reach down, look down somebody below in your genealogy, have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with them, and say, let's go. You're my running mate. Let's go. In the meantime, you're going to still look for other people to, to build the business out. So uh, that's one way, the easiest, and I didn't record this, so I really want this to be on here, is to say, you know what, this is easy. You know, guys, everything comes down. Now, this is going to be a very important lesson. I hope you can get a lot out of this. You know, when we talk about sickness and why Vima works, we always come back down to the cellular level. Well, you're made of cells. If the cells have what they need, they can fix anything. And so it comes down to the cellular level, and when your, your, your body gets what it needs through Vima, cellularly, it's, it's fixing things. And so now your body's able to fix the things. You get more energy. You sleep better. Your pain goes away. Whatever. It's different for many people. But and ultimately, everybody becomes a better version of themselves. When it comes to the business part, the cell right now is the self-image and how you see yourself. How do you define yourself? Because what you are going to do is you're going to stay consistent with who you think you are. So someone who says, you know what, I'm not really good at talking with people, they will prove themselves right. It's too painful for you to be against yourself. So you really have to examine what have I created with myself? Who, who am I? Who am I defining myself? Obviously, God is going to allow you the freedom to create whatever person you want to be, and he's going to honor that. He's going to give you the freedom. So what, what I really want you to do in terms of self-image is I want you to define yourself and say, you know, question anything that's negative, anything that's blocking you from talking to people, anything that's blocking you from becoming 
becoming extremely wealthy and say, is this based on any type of reality? And usually what it's based on is your past or what somebody said to you or, like I said, some experience you had. And all of that stuff goes into defining who you are. I am Sahadev. This is what my past has told me I am. This is what people I respect have told me I am. And so that's who I am. I am Bala. This is what I've learned of who I am. I am Rama. That means this. I am Malati. That means, and on and on and on. And, and so what you got to do is realize that all of that creation was done in a very calm, very uh, accepting environment. In other words, you just kind of accepted it. It wasn't willpower that made you who you were. It was just things, truths, beliefs that you accepted about yourself, and now they run your life like a computer program. So the way to change that in every book that you read, think about Think and Grow Rich, okay, Napoleon Hill, or anything that Bob Proctor says, or any of the most successful people, they will tell you to focus on the end result. And what that means is picture yourself having, being the person that you, you know, would like, desire to be. And what, what happens is sometimes that means you're inconsistent with who you are right now, so it could be a little bit uncomfortable. But here's what you've got to push through it. You've got to write it out. Make it vivid. If you need to, take some sheets of paper and say, this is who I am. I am Malati, and I am da 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 And write down all the things that you want. Like I said, at first you might have to be going against yourself a little bit. But what's going to happen is think about a missile. If I send a rocket, a missile, it has to have a target. It has to know where it's going. And so what you do when you launch that missile, obviously it's targeting the target. And so it's not going to go there straight. What it's going to do is it's going to go a little bit to the left, and it's going to correct to the right, and it's going to co co correct to the left, and it's going to keep correcting as it's going until it gets to its place. And that's what I want you guys to do. Write down what your target is, what you're trying to achieve, and, real, and get started and in your imagination. That's the strongest thing that you have going for you is your imagination, your ability to create your future before it happens. And at first, if you find yourself, you know, saying, no, that's not me, or no, you know, it's like the missile. I'll pull yourself back. Okay, let's get back on course, back on course. Now you're going to do it, and I want you to do it over the next 21 days. Over the next 21 days, it takes about 21 days for a, a new habit to be established. Take a little bit of time every day after you are clear about what you want and why you want it. Now, find a reason to want the good things, like in terms of money, which a lot of people have blocks when it comes to money. You know, if, if it has to be, you know what, I want to be able to contribute. I want to be able to give back. I want to be able to take care of people. I want to be able to take care of my family, whatever it is. Find a reason, you know, so that you can say, yeah, that's, that's good, that's good, that's good. Service, you know, and, and that's going to allow you probably better energy when you're, you know, trying to get to that point. And so, once again, it's a skill, just like talking to people, just like, you know, uh, talking in front of people, just like finding people, imagining is a skill. And all of these skills have to be developed. And if you focus on the end result, which is, for example, you know what, I talk to people, and you know what, they like what I'm saying, and while wow, they enjoy this opportunity, picture your group, wow, they all get checks, they love getting checks, they love being leaders, they love uh, how they help people with their health, they love their team, you know, picture your end result of all the people in your group, they're not even there yet, okay, start sending them love, start enjoying the thought of that, and you're going to attract it. That is just law, guys. This is not mumbo jumbo. It's law. It, it means whatever you focus on, you will grow and you will attract the things that you are in alignment with. And the only way to be in alignment is by focusing. So for example, you're going to you know, take the time, like I said, make your list of people, figure out you know, why they would want to be in Vima, how you can help them, and then picture them in Vima already, and they're enjoying it. And whether it's they're enjoying the health benefits, whether they're enjoying the financial aspect, whether they're enjoying the positive development, personal development, whatever, you know, find reasons. Because honestly, all the things we have allow people to get better. So those, that is your little talk for today that I hope will be able to help you. Now, I'm not concluding yet, but I'm concluding that portion. The things that I want to talk to you about next are the tangible things. So getting people on this call, 
we have a screen here where we can see who's on the call. So, for example, obviously, if we see the people who are on the calls, we know that they're really interested in building their VEMA business, and we're like anybody else. We want to find the leaders that are, that are excited to, to build it. So we always are watching who's really interested in doing this because you can't, you know, you got to get this out of your mind of I'm going to spend my time with the people who deserve it in terms of your, your I mean, who, who need it. You've got to spend your time with the people who deserve it because eventually you're going to have too many people and you will not be able, you'll be spread too thin unless you create leaders, obviously. So when you start the groups, you're looking constantly for the leaders. So that's what we do. So these calls are important. Uh, what we are able to do is see who's on them. So, for example, if I see new people on there, obviously I'm going to do a, a talk about the VEMA opportunity. And I'll do it brief because they're on the phone and, you know, their attention span is only so much. But but we'll get them popped over the phone, and then we'll say, and now get back to the person who sent you, sent, you know, sent you to this call, and they can answer your questions. You can always follow up with a three-way call with us. So that's one way to do this. But these calls are also crucial because they're going to keep you connected. The people who are connected are always the ones who become the most successful. And the reason for that is because, you know, it's a new, it's, you got to follow the people who have already figured this out. If you want your learning curve to go faster, you got to follow those people because they've already learned what doesn't work. They learn what works and it allows you to go faster. So that's the thing. Now, we are going to be returning to um, uh, to Florida, and we posted it. So get used to using that Facebook page. If you don't use Facebook, I'm going to ask you again, you know, create a Facebook page, even if it's a secret one, just for yourself, just so you can keep track and see what's happening. Next Thursday, which is the 6th, we are going to leave after our meeting here, and we're going to come to Florida. So that puts us there Probably the 7th will be unavailable, but the 8th, all day Saturday, will be available. The Sunday, which is the 9th, will be available all day. The 10th, I know we already are booked with Malati with her boss and uh, the owners of her place on Monday at 10 a.m. Tuesday, 11, we're you know, free all day, and then 12 is, I know there's a, what is it called, a, a, a ceremony or feast, or I can't remember what the word you guys use, but uh, that's, what is it called? A festival, thank you. Festival on the 12th. Now, at that festival, we'll probably meet some new people. So we plan on being available for the 13th. So then we've got to get back because I have a show on the 15th, so I really have to be back and rested so I can do my show. So literally, that's, that's the, uh, some of the announcements. Now, let's look a little bit further because, you know, people who are successful, they, they look a little bit down the road. Okay, I want to talk about Las Vegas now. What is going to happen with Las Vegas is it is uh, investment in your VEMA business. And what I mean by that is out of Vegas – and you're around that, those people that are successful and making this work. You know what happens? You get pumped. You learn so many things. Your belief goes you know, out of the stratosphere. But here's what I want you to understand. Belief is everything. When your belief is high, you can talk to anybody about Vima. So the, the convention is going to be one of those uh, you know, situations where you can really, really build your belief. Also, it, it shows a level of commitment because if you get some of your team to go, well, you're like, wow, these people are really committed. Is it a waste of time? Uh, I'm going to say that because some people say, what, what is an event? You know, it, I mean, is it really going to benefit me to go to an event? Here's what you've got to understand. Events change lives. Because what happens is you go there and you see all these people and you hear one thing and that thing changes your life. For me, guys, I was a Vima drinker. I was not a, you know, going gung-ho trying to build the Vima business out until what happened was I um, saw this guy who they told him his legs were, you know, needed to come off so he could live six months. And, and when you see somebody jumping up in front of you saying, you know what, I'm alive, I lost 50 pounds, I have my legs, and, and it's so emotional, and you realize, holy cow, what we have is just unbelievable. That really sparked our, our you know, involvement with Vima. And then I heard, you know, Robert Kiyosaki saying that this is the business of the 21st century. So for me, that event changed my life. With Agnes, she went to an event, and when she went to that event, 
it also changed her life. And so events, really, when we went to Vegas last year with Claudia, Claudia is an 18-year-old girl. She went to Vegas. When she came out, she was a different person. She went crazy with her Vima business, and it exploded. And it's because you can't fake belief. And her belief was there after that. And so that's, you know, when you're new, how high is your belief? You're new. You know what I mean? So you're learning. You kind of are trusting your leaders and stuff. But as you develop that belief and it becomes real for you, at that point, you know, you can talk to anybody. So literally, Las Vegas is April 24th, 25th, 26th. Um, and that is, uh, it's at the Mirage. Now, when you're new, sometimes what I, would, what I would say to you is you can, you know, have a bunch of people in one room. If, you know, financial constraint, you know, get a bunch of people, all chip in for the room, figure out how to go there. If you can, like, you know, work on the way, like I was heard, hearing Bala say, you know, he can go and he can be working while he's going, then do that, you know. But I would say it's, it's crucial to get there because all I know is all of my top leaders – they go. You know, the ones who are not my top leaders, they don't go. Now, why is that? I don't know. It just, it, it, you know, who knows? I don't know why, but it is, it is what it is. So if you want to, you know, create an income that is gigantic, I would say that's one of those things that you go to. And plus, you're going to love it, honestly. You walk into a room of people, and everybody is focused on success. Everybody's focused on, on health and helping the people they care about. <coughs> excuse me, everybody's focused on, you know, the business that unplugs you from the day-to-day -day grind and, and some job that you hate, and, and you're plugged into a whole room of those people with hope and belief, and, and you, then you have all the successful people who are actually doing it, so you are, uh, you know, you are, like, motivated because you see, hey, if this guy, like, I saw a girl last year on stage, she could not talk, and I'm like, Oh, my gosh, it's all kinds of people. Some can talk, some cannot talk. Some are tall, some are short. Some are black, some are white. doesn't matter. It's just, you know, they're up there showing you. So I would recommend if you're able to go to that, go to that. Um, in terms of the, the Facebook page, I, know I need to put a calendar up there. Maybe somebody, I think what I could do is I could do a, a Google calendar, and then I'll give you guys – you know, administrative rights, so you can start filling it in, like with time slots, so that way we can stay organized, and the whole team can say, oh my God, this is getting filled up, I better pick a time for Paul and Agnes to come, and you know, and then you see what, who else is having stuff. You know, we don't want to repeat the last time where we showed up at, um, uh, what's her name, Mo Malika's house, and she was not expecting that. That was a communication, you know, error on my part. I, I assume because her last meeting there were a lot of people that that's what she was doing again. And so we want to make sure we're very clear. Finally, I know that, um, one more announcement. I know that uh, uh, Jamuna is, and I think Bala too, they're, they're preparing flyers for all of the devotees with special number codes on there. So you can invite somebody, and I hope that it's more like an invitation to, you know, change your life or whatever they put on there. I don't know what they're going to put on there. But uh, what will happen is if somebody comes with the code that you actually gave them, then obviously they're your person. And so if they decide they want to be a part of Vima, it's a way for you to get credit. They join your organization, and it allows them free entry. What I think we want to do is if they're going to rent some place, I think it's only fair that you know, each person kicks in 5 bucks or 7 bucks or something like that. That's in Vima already. Obviously, you can't have new people you know, paying at the door to change your life and be like, huh, kind of weird. But uh, the people that are involved, so it would be great to have, you know, 30 of you guys all there, you know, you handed out these flyers, you get your people there, and we'll, we will just make sure that when they leave that room, like I said, events change lives, that they will be so pumped to do Vima that they're going to figure it out. So I think that's all of the announcements that I have and the personal development, and I know some people ended up on the phone call a little bit later, but I will say that this was recorded. So now I'm going to shut the recording off. You're going to hear it to people that are on the call.